All right, what's going on, everybody? So a lot of my viewers actually, I was streaming earlier. Hey, Triggs, have you tried out this Shinobu's Vow Hunter Arc build? And I was like, no, why would I use Shinobu's Vow? I'm sitting here making a video on it because it's actually a ton of fun. And it's actually pretty good. And I will say it definitely lacks a little bit in um, a Grandmaster Nightfall. But in like lower one content, you still use it in a Grandmaster Nightfall. It's still good. There's not really much healing involved with this build as well as survivability. you got to get very aggressive. Once you skip grenade and hit a lot of targets as well as make as many orbs as possible. This build is really good all around the world if you're new to the channel welcome on in i try to keep all my videos short and right to the point but also like put out enough information on everything you need to know on this build i'm not gonna milk your time but starting off for our super gathering storm is a super that we're gonna want this is a really good super it's my personal favorite out of the three and it actually does a ton of damage as well so you definitely want to run gathering storm we're gonna be using gambler's dodge that way when i dodge i get my melee ability back triple jump but that's gonna be up to you what you want to use combination blow as well as skip grenade which this is the key this is what shinobu's bow works with so this grenade that will split upon impact will create multiple projectiles that will actually seek targets so the key is to throw it at the ground have it travel and it will go on enemies with shinobu's bow when we throw a grenade it separates into projectiles and when those projectiles do just have to hit a target it doesn't even have to do a bunch of damage as long as it hits an enemy as long as all the projectiles hit the targets that you're throwing it at it'll actually give you your grenade energy back so with the tracking on it it's pretty hard to miss with the skip grenade anyway so i have about 50 percent of your energy given back to you right off the rip anyway just by hitting all your projectiles with this grenade we'll be running lethal current in our first aspect which after dodging your next melee attack will have an increased lunge range it will jolt the target and create a damaging aftershock. Also, damaging any jolted target with melee attacks will also blind them. We're also, using flow state, which defeating a jolted target will make us amplified. While we're amplified, we're actually going to get our dodge recharge more quickly. We're going to be more resilient when we're dodging, and our reload speed is greatly increased. This makes our build even nastier. Or fragments, we're going to be using spark of amplitude. Rapidly defeating targets where amplified will create an orb of power. So. Once we get amplified thanks to flow state, we're going to be able to make orbs of power. We're also be using spark of resistance, which while surrounded by combatants, we're more resistant to incoming damage. Spark of shock, which are arc grenades will jolt targets. What an ionic trace is, it's on the ground. It's actually an arc energy that will, it will travel on the ground. You'll see it and it will go towards you and that will give you ability energy. So more ways to get our abilities back. The key is to have our grenade as much as possible. So getting into our mods, before we talk about that, we're running Shinobu's Vow because it will improve our skip grenade as well as we will actually get a second skip grenade. So we can hold two skip grenades as well as our skip grenade will return energy when it damages enemies. So we get a second grenade and we get energy back just from the exotic itself. So on top of all these other mods I'm gonna talk about, you're gonna be able to get your grenade back a lot faster than you normally would. Making this build just a grenade spamming machine Going off in the helmet, I'm be using an arc weapon. Make sure you pair that siphon with the weapon that you're using. That way you get those extra orbs of powers. We're going to be running double ashes to assets because we will actually gain super energy on our grenade kills. So since we're spamming grenades anyway, we're going to be getting our super back a lot faster too. So spamming grenades, quick super, which makes this a ton of fun. We're going to be amplified. We're going to be jolting enemies. We're going to be able to stun overloads like crazy. So if you're dealing with overloads, it's definitely a good build for that as well. Our arms, we're going to be running one copy of firepower, which our grenade final blows will create an orb of power as well as grenade kickstart we're going to be running two of these because what this does is while we have an armor charge when we use our grenade we're actually going to get grenade energy back so not only will we get grenade energy back from grenade kickstart while we have an armor charge but shinobu's vow will give us our grenade back energy too so pretty much if you have armor charge you have both of these with shinobu's vow you're going to get your grenade back like nothing when you throw one so being able to get that grenade back just from that makes it all the difference and we're not even done so in our chest piece we have charged up which will increase the maximum number of stacks of armor charge we can carry by one we want to have as many armor charges as we can in our legs we're going to be running double innervation which will reduce grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power we can also swap out a copy of innervation for better already which our health will begin to regenerate immediately after picking up an orb of power it's going to be good because you really don't get much healing with this build at all so having a way to heal yourself by picking up an orb of power definitely comes in clutch it doesn't put your health at like full health when you pick up an orb of power it just starts the regeneration for getting your health back up to full as well as we're going to be running stacks on stacks which picking up an orb of power will actually grant us an additional stack of armor charge so normally when you pick up an orb of power you just get one armor charge now we get two armor charges on top of running charged up increases the amount of armor charge we can carry by one see what i'm saying here it is just like unlimited grenades if you're an ad clearing machine you're just going to town with these skip grenades and in my cloak i like running triple bomber only because it stacks as well as when i dodge we actually get our grenade back so if let's say i mess up my grenade and i don't have an armor charge and i'm like so close to get my grenade back if i dodge i have three stacks of these i'm gonna have my grenade back and ready to go which should be able to get me my next grenade if i am able to get an armor charge from 
that kill as well as making orbs anyway so i should be able to have my grenade back too but once again so many different ways to get your grenade back as well as to keep yourself amplified as well as as well as jolting enemies this build is a ton of fun let me know your thoughts on it i include a couple of clips of me using it while i'm talking over this just to show you how good this build really is try to keep this video as short as possible but that's going to be it for the video and i'll see you all in the next one all right peace